what's going on y'all so y'all know a couple of weeks back Errol Spence Jr. kind of shed more light on these sanctioning bodies man how much they taking from the boxers a lot of the money is unaccounted for uh they're hoarding it for themselves you know for nothing that's not, for nothing but a trinket which you know we understand you have to have something to represent you being a champion but they're taking advantage of the fighters man and even WBC is pretty much the only one that came out and tried to, at least they tried to justify it, you know, which was still crap, you know, because they charge all of these fees and you just like, dude, do you, you don't have to like, why are you charging these exorbitant amounts for unification fights for, 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 uh, undisputed matches it, It's ridiculous, man. Now I know a lot of people don't really know, but the WBC, WBO, IBF, <clears throat> not everybody, but, you know, the dudes that's in the loop, we know already what the fucking deal is with these sanctioning bodies, man. WBC, for instance, um, the promoters of these fighters, man, they got to pay a $7,000 registration fee, man, a year, okay? That's a year, y'all. And then for every fight, um, you they got to pay between five and 25 grand, man. Ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. <clears throat> now, the boxers themselves, they got to pay 3% on top of that. So, you add it up. And that's just the, um, that's the WBC, you know. And then, if um, you, you're earning um, $100,000 minimum, $3,000 is, the, you know, is paid by the champions, man. And 1000 by the challenger. For vacant belts, both pay two Gs, bro. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. And that's the WBC. You know what I mean? And in the WBO, um, the champs got to pay 3% of their purse, minimum of $1,000, and a maximum of 200 fucking grand, dude. 200,000. Let that sink in. <sighs> 200,000, man. The maximum. But that, that that's, uh, bro, um, a lot of other people say the same shit about these belts. They're not even real fucking gold, man. It's just plated. And I don't even think it's really even gold plated. There might be some other bull, some fake, some fake gold plated shit. Who knows, man? <clears throat> and then um, for unif for unification bouts with the WBO, uh, the boxers pay two percent of their purse to to them, and the minimum and max remain the same. You know what I mean? Um, it's ridiculous, man. I was thinking about something, man. I was like, listen. You know when a fighter loses their belt in the you know rather it's unification or undisputed or just a regular title shot, you know, a title bout, defense or whatever, they lose their belt. The the fighter gets to keep the belt, you know, as a trinket, right? But the belt is meaningless now because of, officially now the other fighter is now the champion and they get a belt. It's not like okay, the fighter that was holding the belt, he loses his strap, and then right there in the ring, they say, okay, hand over that belt, and then they give it right to the other, the, the new champion. It should be like that, though. It should be like that. You know what I mean? That That's ridiculous, man. You know, I know you're like, yo, but but they might want to trink it uh, to show, you know, as a memoir of them winning the belt. I could get that. I understand that, man. So, you know that leaves a lot of room for discussion and you know things to be sorted out man but i i think it's dope if they made it like if a fighter lose the belt they right away they pass that belt to the other fighter that that would be so dope i would love to see something like that man but these these sanctioning bodies dude they getting off like fat rats bro they getting off like fat rats. they gotta be some kind of a it has to be a, a something that you know that the fighters something new that the fighters can hold on to as a, you know, that they can, you know, show that they're a champion. Something that they can fight for. But, you know, you're not giving them fee these weird ass fees to these things. They need to knock these sanctioning bodies out the picture, bro. Completely. And I'm not sure what the solution is, man. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all might have ideas on how this can be done or, 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 or something, man. I mean, I get it. The, the, the sanctioned bodies are the ones that create the belts, right? They create the physical belt, right? But here's the thing, though. Like, who 
who deemed these dudes the boxing gods where everybody got to pay them all these fees just for a belt? Can't there be a, a, a counter a counter to these sanctioning bodies, man? Like, let the boxing commissions kind of control the belts. I, I, I don't know, man, because that is a lot of fucking money, man, for these fighters to be handing over. And not to mention, they got other stuff that they got to take care of, these champions. They got to take care of they, um, the taxes. Um, they got to pay their team. You know what I mean? It's a whole lot of other... The promoter getting his cut. Like, it's, it's... Come on, man. You know, come on, dude. What did, what did the... Now, I understand everybody else getting their cut, right? Like, the promoters, the, the, the team, the coaches, and all of this. But what did the sanctioning bodies really do to deserve hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars besides uh, creating a bullshit-ass belt? That's all they really did, bro. And here's my thing. If y'all gonna take all these fees, bro, I feel like this, right? When... You're 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 charging a per these boxers to hold these belts, right? Cool. So when the boxer lose these belts, now you give back all that fucking money that you took for holding the belts. That was just a a fee for holding my belt, for holding their belt. That's how I kind of see it. it's a fee. You know, let like okay, what is it? A damage fee? You know, okay, we we need to charge you this in case you damage our precious fake belt. Okay, well here's your belt. I just lost it. I don't have it anymore. Give me my money back. <laughs> It's unbelievable, man. But anyway, let me know, man. Drop some comments, man. What could be a solution to these crooked ass sanctioning bodies, man? Cause this is this is preposterous, man. This is your boy Rebel Like Boxing, man. Drop a comment. Let me know how you feel about it. I'll catch y'all later.